so here we are with Bitcoin and I'm doing the weekly update and what do we see right here? We see Bitcoin is just sticking around the 60k range, but it's not really gaining any momentum and it's kind of lackluster. Um, so it's kind of, it's very much undecided. Is it going to break out above the old highs in the upper 61k range? Or is it going to fail here and, and then get back down to my buy down here? Good question. Um, so we're going to find out. I, I'm going to give it a higher probability of a down move, unfortunately. I'd like to see it go higher. Um, uh, as you know, that I'm still holding on to this. But what do I do in a case like this where, you know, things are kind of unknown for Bitcoin at the moment? Or even for XRP, which I'm also holding half of, right? Um, it's great that we've had this big run and you know I want to get two in the future and so forth. I mean, return wise, that would be fantastic. Um, but what, what do I do here in a situation like this? Well, then we have our BNB, which I've decided to start shorting because this is very overbought and I could see a clear target all the way back down here. So if the market does pull back, this turns into a hedge trade for me. So I'm hedging my longs with a short, and that's why you see me do this. And I, I've been very successful at this. Again, you know, I have percentages on cumulatively of over 100% a year um, for many years. So every time I invest money, uh, I, I'm doubling it every year or more. Uh, one year, like 2018, I had over 300% uh, ROI. Um, so I, I've done very well. And I'm going to keep doing what I do. It's it's also asymmetrical in nature. It doesn't happen when I want it to. It's up to the market. Uh, anybody who's been here for a few years, like Bryce, will tell you that you know uh, I, I've had periods where it just looks like nothing's going on and it's so boring, and you know it's uh, nothing's going our way. And then all of a sudden, in a few months, some insanity hits, and I'm up. Uh, double or more or whatever and it, it's because of the fact that um, you know it, it doesn't happen when I want it to uh, I can't predict the future and nobody can and what I'm doing is I'm trading what happens most often and when it happens is up to the market um, so you have to humble yourself to that and that's why when I hear people saying they're expecting trades and you know where's the trade that's not what you do as a trader, you don't trade to make trades. Um, you know, there's a whole thing that goes along with that that I don't like. And it may be fine for signal providers, but it's not fine for me who actually has to make a living from the marketplace. So, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. You can follow my trades or, or not. If you don't like the sell, I've had a few people tell me. Um, they don't like to sell on, on this, and that's fine. Don't trade it. Um, that's my, you know, that's all I can say. I mean, it's up to you. I, I'm not here to tell you what to trade. Um, I have started selling it above 500. Uh, I've sold again above 600, and I will sell again another order above 700 if it can get there. And again, I'm targeting all the way back down to two. 20s and so forth. So if it goes under that two, um, third around 230, 227, somewhere in that range, I'd, I'll wait to see how much of a pullback we get in the future. Um, it's very overbought. Remember, I've been holding this um, a long time ago. I had a small hodl position from way back when, and it, it's gone from like a ridiculous ten dollars all the way up to. It went up to 30, 40, and then it blew up to this 300, pulls back. I had a trade that went back down to under 200, that happened, and then creates this giant pattern right here. And this might take time to work itself out, but, you know, again, the odds are in my favor. And crypto is very fast, so uh, this could work out very quickly. All of a sudden, it could spike all the way back down and then. You're like, wow, how did that happen? And I've seen that happen many times. I, I've 
over 400% returns on BNB from previous trades that I've made uh, over time. Um, so anybody who's been here a matter of years will tell you, you know, I, I've done fairly well <laughs> on most and 90 something percent of my trades. So, you know, the odds are in my favor. Uh, again, I'm not emotional on trades. I, I'm very well diversified. No one trade is going to make or break me. And I, I hope people get out of that type of thinking where they have to um, have one big trade to that's not the way it works. It's uh, you want a lot of winning small trades because you know the uh, overall uh, cumulative return of what you're doing is what matters. Um, you know, uh, let's imagine um, you know each little fight, every little battle you fight. If it's a good battle, then that's what matters. That's the focus. That's where it should be, and the returns will take care of themselves in time. And that's the way it's always been and always will be, at least for me. Now I'd like to see Bitcoin go upwards because I'm still holding it. And if it does, I want it to join back into the trend line in the upper 60,000 range. We'll see if that happens. If not, if it fails here, which is very possible, it could fail, and we start to tank back under, then I'm going to look forward to get all the way back to the 45K before I start buying again. I'm just reiterating this. If you've seen my other videos, it's the same thing. I'm still holding on from the buys from around the 30,000 level. And um, so we'll see. Uh, that's what, you know, and now I have BNB as a hedge against any down move. So I like it. I like where we are. And again, BNB, every $100 I'm adding and uh, we'll see where it goes. And they can pr press it pretty far. This is just CZ. And then he'll unload into these people. It's kind of funny. It's a little bit, uh, you know, it, I, he couldn't get away with it in the USA. Let's just put it that way. The SEC and the CFTC would be all over him. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, that's those are my ideas. Uh, and I will talk to you later in the week.